Hello everyone, Christoph Punk is here and in today's tutorial I will try to add some geometry to my blade. As you see when I'm going into the smoothing mode in smoothing view with number 3, we have lost our shape. It's look really messy and I will try to fix that. Besides, if you will view from the top side, you see that the blade is really slim or skinny. So first of all, I will try to add some... I will hide the handle for this tutorial and I will mark some faces. I'll go to the top view and try to scale it up a little bit to get more realistic shape of a blade okay I believe it's good for now Okay, so we need to add some polygons because when we are smoothing, as you see, we're losing shape. So I will go to custom tools and I will add a command which I will be using a lot. It will be insert edge loop tool. So I believe I will create here one edge and um, I will try to add some edge in here and if we will try to smooth it again as you see the shape is looking a little bit better okay we will add one here too not bad now, mm -hmm. I'll add some edge here and here to increase the sharpness of the angle. Besides, if you creating a edge near each uh, near other edge you will get the result with a sharper edge when you're trying to smooth for example if I will try to whoopsie wait a second I'll add the edge in here too so when I will smooth as you see this edge will be more sharper Okay, so we have here <coughs> uh -huh. we have some problems here. the edge which is not in the right position and we will go to the edit mesh and delete edge vertices and vertex okay so when I press it again I will get really nice edge besides I believe that edge will be not correct for uh, our work at this moment because if I will try to use bo a boolean I will get an error it's a different shape and uh, this edge is not looping 
normally. Okay, dokie. So I will try to delete with verti uh, vertex and edge. Okay, we have here. Maybe I just keep it. Wait a second. I will try to use a boolean with these edges. So I'll go to the polygons, I will use a sphere, for, it's only example, just want to try if it's boolean working properly. So I will uh, choose the mesh and I will be deleting this mesh from the first mesh. It's uh, like a 2 minus 1 and we will have, in this case we will have a hole. But the principle is uh, selecting what minus and go to the booleans I'll bring it back besides as you saw uh, when I going to any of object this is dotted line if I will press the dotted line I will get the portable um, menu which will be on my desk uh, working window so okay I will Picking the blade, I want to delete the shape and I will press the difference. Okay, so it's working. Great. Of course, not so great, but it's just uh, for uh, testing purposes. Okay, so now I will try to add different shape. No, I believe it's a wrong shape. Okay. Uh, I will try to use this shape. I will rotate it 90 degrees in Z axis. And um, I believe I will place a hole something in, in here. It will be. Okay. I think we will see. Okay, so I'm selecting a number, I'm deleting a second number and pressing the difference. Okay, so now I will have a hole in my blade. Of course, it's <laughs> looking ugly, but the point is that we will be familiar with a Boolean command too. Besides, if we want to, for example, oh, when I'm smoothing, check this out. If I will smooth, I will get nothing. But at least you now know how to use boolean command. I will not do the hole again because it's really looking ugly. So, I will try to adjust some shape in this position. I will try to shrink it down a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I will pick the second edge and try to shrink it down to something like that. And I believe it will be great for uh, for our knife blade because okay in smoothing mode it's looking good too. I believe we will be have more difficulties when we will be trying to adjust or add some geometry on the handle. But for a knife, I will I will believe that it will be okay for right now. It's maybe not so 
don't have so much uh, geometry but if you want to add some smoothness we can just press the smooth button oh it, it's under a mesh and smooth besides if you're using smooth command um, always check in history because it will smooth by one and if you want to smooth a little bit more uh, you, you want to add more divisions so go into the last your command in the history and you just simply can add the for example two so in it will increase more uh, divisions level and if you will press free of course it will increase again so now we have high poly for this knife is really high poly <coughs> blade so if you want to have low poly or high poly you can just go to subdivision level you can press zero oops zero and you will be returning in the previous version without the subdivisions I believe it will be okay for now And I believe it will be finished for right now and we will go to the handle. So I believe the handle we will create in the next tutorial. So take care.